Today we're going to be looking at some of the key facts about the Rhodesian Ridgeback. This video will hopefully help you get a well-rounded look at elements that are important to research before bringing a Ridgeback into their new forever home. We'll talk about details into their registry to the Kennel Club, their lifespan and health scans that are available as well as average cost of a Ridgeback pup and we'll fit some other tips in there too. So let's get going. Welcome back to the Rhodesian Ridgeback Show. If you're new here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. The Rhodesian Ridgeback has some fearsome pet names such as African Lion Hound and Lion Dog that really sums up the power of the breed. These names of course refer to their long history of accompanying lion hunters throughout the plains of Africa, which increased their popularity and reputation for being such reliable companions. To look at a Ridgeback, you can see their presence is powerful. They are a large dog with males growing to between 63 and 69 centimetres and females growing to 61 to 66 centimetres. Then males will weigh in at around 36 kilograms and female 32 kilograms. Ridgebacks have a lifespan of 9 to 15 years. Proper attention to care, well-being and diet really factor into the overall health of all dogs. Ridgebacks especially love their food and so it will be up to you to monitor their diet and avoid overfeeding them as they can eat themselves sick if given the chance. This is also important as obesity will put lots of strain on their bones and can drastically shorten a dog's lifespan. As with all breeds, there are also hereditary conditions to be aware of. The best way to do this is to book in health tests as soon as possible to scan for any of the various issues that they might have inherited from a parent. These scans are testing for deafness, sinus checks, an elbow dysplasia scheme, the hip dysplasia scheme, and checks for juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Of course, there are other conditions that aren't hereditary that can occur throughout their life, such as bloat. So looking into these are also important. Juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, which I've already mentioned, is specifically linked to the Ridgeback because it is a, largely a breed-specific issue. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behaviour. As a canine behaviourist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behaviour that are important for you to become a high-level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors so again if you want to check out that course it's completely free of charge the principles of canine behavior there'll be a link down in the description box below and i can't wait to see you over on that course this specific form of epilepsy is also a worry as it's something that will come up while your dog is younger and so can be hugely detrimental to your pup's quality of life Discussion with your vet to arrange scans and tests can help you prepare for any deterioration in health that may occur as your pup grows. If they aren't able to do the test at that practice, they will know the nearest test centre that specialise in each issue for the varying scans. These scans will of course add up in cost, which may be rather overwhelming when you're only just bringing your pup home, and they will really help you prepare for what may be in store, put your mind at ease and help you avoid nasty health surprises in the future. Speaking of costly surprises, the overall costs of dogs have really rocketed in the past year and so your budgeting may have to shift since starting research. In 2018, the average cost of a Ridgeback pup is registered to the UK Kennel Club was £1,108, with non-registered pups averaging £776. At the tail end of 2020, registered pups were averaging at £2,000 to £3,000. After a surge in popularity worldwide in owning dogs, these prices have definitely inflated to reflect this, so this is definitely an extra thing to be prepared for. I mentioned registering to the Kennel Club there and you may be wondering why it's so important. Registering with the Kennel Club will be done by the breeder and this is a way of receiving a certificate that can confirm the correct steps have been taken as well as giving you the opportunities and owner to gain a wealth of information and advice for your dog. 
Rhodesian Ridgebacks are a pedigree breed within the Kennel Club and sit in the Hound Group. There are several groups within the club that each breed gets separated into. These groupings put breeds with similar characteristics together and so the Ridgeback shares a stage with breeds such as Dachshunds, Beagles and Basset Hounds. These breeds are known to be intelligent, inquisitive and of course have a great sense of smell, making them excellent companions for hunting or the perfect companion to join you on wild adventures. Out of the 31 breeds within the Hound Group, the Ridgeback is extremely high on the list as best watchdog. They are natural guardians and don't need training to protect and keep a lookout for their home. I've talked through the wide variety of information there that can be a lot to take in and figure out, but do know that there is a lot of support out there for you and all research will be worth it. Ridgebacks are a gorgeous breed who are in the double digits of most popular dog in the UK. A 2008 ranking has them at 81 out of 244 breeds, which is pretty impressive for a big dog with such specific and intensive exercise needs. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Rhodesian Ridgeback videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Rhodesian Ridgeback Show.